athletes, coaches, team managers, the training period is now over. La période d'entraînement et d'échauffement est maintenant terminée. Athletes, please exit the pool and make ready for the first round of competition. Athlètes, veuillez vous rendre dans la zone de rassemblement d'où vous ferez votre entrée avant les présentations. Diving fans, welcome to the World Aquatics Diving World Cup Montreal 2023. Amateurs de plongeon, bienvenue à la Coupe du monde de plongeon World Aquatics à Montréal en direct de la piscine du parc olympique. Welcome to the Olympic Park Sports Center. And welcome to the men's 10 meter finals. Bienvenue à l'épreuve finale des hommes à la plateforme.
We would like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is the traditional and unceded territory of the Mohawk Nation, a place which has long served as a site of meeting and exchange amongst nations. We would like to thank the Mohawk Nation for their hospitality. Nous reconnaissons que nous sommes sur un territoire autochtone millénaire, lieu de rencontre et de diplomatie entre les peuples ainsi que du traité de la Grande Paix. Nous remercions la nation Mohawk de son hospitalité en territoire non cédé. Diving fans, please welcome the athletes for our competition. Amateurs de plongeon, veuillez accueillir les athlètes participant à la finale des hommes à la plateforme. Please welcome representing Germany. Représentant l'Allemagne. Timo Barta. Representing Poland. Représentant la Pologne, Robert Lukaciewicz. Please welcome our next team representing Australia. Representant l'Australie. Samuel Fricker. Representing United States of America. Representant les États-Unis d'Amérique. Zachary Cooper. Representing United States of America. Representant les États-Unis d'Amérique. Brandon Lachiavo. Representing Great Britain. Representant la Grande-Bretagne, Matthew Lee. Representing Ukraine. Representant l'Ukraine, Alexei Sarena. Representing Canada. Representant le Canada, Nathan Zomer Murray. Representing Australia. Representant l'Australie. Cassio Russo. Representing People's Republic of China. Representant la République Populaire de Chine, Yang Hao. Representing Great Britain. Representant la Grande-Bretagne, Noah Williams. Representing Japan. Representant le Japon, Rikuto Tamai. Diving fans, a round of applause for your athletes competing in the men's 10 meter championship final. Mesdames et messieurs, les athlètes participant à la finale des hommes à la plateforme. Introducing our officials for this event. Your referee, Francine Lavoie. Assistant referee, Sarah Toth. Platform judge, Michael Barth. Juge numéro un, Paul Beach. Juge numéro deux, Rao Lang. Juge numéro trois, Nora Sheffy. Juge numéro quatre, Claire Marantette. Juge numéro cinq, Hugo Parisi. And we're back here live from Montreal for the World Aquatics Diving World Cup, second leg of the World Cup season. Last event of the day for us here, the men's 10 meter platform, the marquee event of the world of diving. Alex Depati, Jen Abel here with you. Take you along, see some amazing diving coming up. Here's the judges panel being announced for this event, seven judges. Jen, are you excited? It's always a really, really good event to watch, the men's 10-meter final. It's always a good, excited, great divers that's coming up. Nathan Zombor Murray of Canada will be going in eighth. A lot of talent in this event, young and experienced as well. The last diver, number 12 here, Rikudo Tamai of Japan, 
Very, very young, just 17 years old. Very spectacular to watch. And the fact that he's last diver, that means that he won the preliminary. He had a very good preliminary round. And in case you were wondering how high 10 meter is, a look at the size of that. Di these divers walking at the bottom. That can definitely put some fear in you. Mm -hmm. I've had my parents come up to the tower and um, they didn't get too close to the end of the tower. <laughs> You decided to compete mostly on the three meter, although I actually didn't decide it. To be honest with you, Alex, I thought I was I was gonna become a platform diver. You did? Yes, I was. Uh, yes, because I started my career on ten meter, so I was doing all the Grand Prix on ten meter. And then in 2008, uh, back then was Cezanne Henderson, my coach, and he said, if you want to make the Olympic team, you have a good chance on three meter springboard. And you became. Canada's most decorated diver doing so on the three meter springboard. As the band, the men, the boys are getting ready for their final. Little jump in the shower, getting wet before the event begins. Just moments away now. Nathan Zombor Murray, Murray with the Canadian coaching staff there. Iwali talking to him moments before he gets going. One last little tip from the coach. Make sure everything is checked before this final begins. Always talking about the strategy, what number you're gonna go dive in, jump in the water, and go see your coach before the event starts, so you're both on the same line. Create that routine mm -hmm. for the rest of the event. What just happened here? What are we looking at here, Jen? He's putting some uh, sticky stuff on his feet. I don't know why on the feet. <laughs> we used to put some on her hands. On the hands because there's so much velocity in certain rotations happening. The divers want to make sure they don't slip out of a tuck position, for example. Or miss their hands for the entry. Keep their hands together because from 10 meter, coming into the water at 40 kilometers an hour, you want those hands to protect your head. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round one begins with Timo Bartel from Germany. He begins the campaign with an inward three and a half somersault tuck position. Six round of dives. And we're gonna see some very high degree of difficulties throughout this event. Great start, great start. It was a little bit of water coming out, and especially on that event, we're gonna go see a lot of clean uh, entries. So he grabbed his stock position, and he, was, he had plenty of time to really grab his hand and get that beautiful entry. Very high level of diving in this event. You mentioned it, Jen, 7.5s to kick it off. It's going to take a whole lot more than that to get on the podium today. Second diver of the event from Poland, Robert Lukasiewicz. He will be doing a forward three and a half somersault pike position. Great, great. I really appreciate the pike position. It was super tight. And when you're doing a front three and a half, you really need to control that entry. So pack position, very tight, and unfortunately kept his head a little bit too much in, and that's the reason why he passed the vertical. Will be deducted for that 6.5s for a total of 58.50. <laughs> Next diver up, Samuel Fricker of Australia. Also competes in the three meter event. One of a few divers in this event that actually is able to compete on both. We don't see that very much anymore. Mm -hmm. 
Divers tend to specialize in one event, either the platform or the springboard. His first dive is a back two and a half with one and a half twist, pike position. Yeah, really good, really good. I really felt like he went very fast in, into his twist position, and that create, it was very hard for him to control the entry right here. And that's the reason why he had to really wait and be patient to, for, for him to grab his hand and control that entry. And it seems like the twisting position just kept going a mm -hmm. little bit. The judges did not penalize him too much for that. Seven and a half and eight for the dive. From the United States now, Zachary Cooper, also a three meter springboard competitor in action today on the 10 meter platform. His first dive is an arm stand double somersault with two and a half twist. 3.6 degree of difficulty, very high here. It's going to be very important for him to demonstrate a very great control of that handstand. Ah, oh, just a few lines short. So. When you do that dive, it's a very big dive, and you want to get that twist going on very fast to be able to really take your your, your take be out take out your twist position to control that come out. And unfortunately, it was a little bit short, and the judges will deduct for that. Not enough speed to complete the dive here. 5.5 sixes. Rough start for the young American. And here comes his teammate, Brandon Lascavo. He'll begin with an inward three and a half somersault tuck position. Ah. Did that kind of quality of the entry when you're doing the men three meters, uh, Ten meter, Sorry, ten meter platform, a little higher. You have, you really have to have clean entry, and that dive is is usually easy for men. So they have to control that come out and grab their hands tight to really have a nice entry. Missed opportunity here, six and six point five for a total of sixty point eighty points. From Great Britain now, Matthew Lee, very experienced diver. He kicks it off with a massive 3.6 dive, back two and a half, two and a half twist, pike position. Oh. He Again, had it. He had it and he kept it a little bit short. He had a lot of experience. So when you do a big dive like that, you have to give it all. And you can see that right now he's having a great twist position. He grabs his pike, but unfortunately he opened way too early. And that's the reason why he was short. And he had plenty of space to really complete the dive. So this is very unfortunate. Six and 6.5s. Up next, another very young diver, 17 years old only. Alexei Sereda of Ukraine, he kicks off the competition with an inward three and a half tuck position. Whoa, <laughs> beautiful. And as I mentioned earlier, when you watch men 10 meter, you want to see great entry and he just did that. Look at that entry. It's very nice. It's tuck position. It's barely, barely perfectly. And then the open pike right here to grab his hand and have that entry. Such a beautiful line in the legs. Very straight, pointed feet. Very elegant diving. 8.5s and 9s. And the coach is happy as well. 84.80 to kick off the event. From Canada now, Nathan Zumbo Murray. Also doing an inward three and a half somersault tuck. 3.2 degree of difficulty. I've seen Nathan doing that dive very good. 
There he is, just waiting for the referee to give the final whistle. My favorite dive to see Nathan execute. His stock position is very nice. He knows exactly where he is. And you can see now he's working that entry out. He had a little bit of splash after that, but very minimized. The level is so high in this event. 8.5s for the dive. Tiny little mistakes like that can be very costly at the end, but a very good start for Nathan. From Australia now, Cassiel Rousseau. And he'll be doing the exact same dive and inward three and a half somersaults tuck. Showing off the tattoos here. <laughs> good, good. I feel like the quality of the entry could have been a little bit cleaner. But like when you look there, he went on the, he grabbed his stuck position, and once again, he was very confident for his opening and getting ready to hit the water. And you mentioned the confidence. It's so important when you have so much space to complete your dive. Mm -hmm. Most of the rotation happens way up in the air. You have to have that strength of mind to have a good result. 76.80 for the Australian. Up next now from China, Hao Yang. He'll also be doing an inward three and a half somersault tuck position. 3.2 degree of difficulty. For sure, and look how high he did his come out. So he grabbed his stuck position, come out in total control, and he knew exactly where he had to put his hand to have that clean entry. And to keep those legs straight close to the body before getting into the water, you gotta have very strong abdominal muscles. 9.5s and 10, huge score to start the event. 92.80. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The show has begun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Noah Williams now from Great Britain. He will be doing a back two and a half, two and a half twist, 3.6 degree of difficulty. because he had plenty of time to, to come out of his twist position and then grab his hand to get that very nice entry. So many components to this dive and he manages to put everything together. High degree of difficulty. And the reward is there, 8.5, nine for a huge score as well. dive in this round. Rikudo Tamai of Japan. He'll be doing an inward three and a half somersaults tuck position. Rikudo was 15 years old at the Olympic Games back in Tokyo 2020 with a seventh place. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. 
And you know, when you're in that position, you're the last diver and you have all the experience, but men diving in front of you, you have to have to show a big character to be able to really do a great dive like this one. I love the fact that he puts so much attention on the technique. Everything is very well executed. 9.5s all around for the dive. Great start for the Japanese. Already talking about the next dive. Not much to say about mm -hmm. this one. <laughs> Noah Williams of Great Britain in the lead. Yao Chang of China. Yao Hang, sorry. And Rikuda Tamai from Japan in third. Nathan Zombor Murray not too far behind with a good start in the competition in fifth place so far. Further into the round we get, the more talented divers, the highest level of diving is what we're gonna see. Timo Bartel from Germany. Trying to keep his focus while there's a tiny bit of a delay. Getting ready now for his second dive. A back arm stand. Triple somersault, tuck position, 3.3 degree of difficulty. Very, very good. And it must be really hard for men when they do that dive to pass their legs because it can be close from the tower. So you really want to make sure that you push far enough from the platform with your hands, grab your tuck position, and place your feet at the right place to get that entry. He's happy about that. 8.5s. Another big score here, 84.15. Coach is very happy about this one. Here comes the Polish diver, Robert Lukasiewicz. Lukasiewicz. He'll be doing an inward three and a half somersault in the tuck position. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good. I would have loved to see his toe a little bit more pointed because that was a distraction for me. You will be able to see it right here in his tuck position. Toe could have been more pointed. And obviously he came out and with his head in, that makes, um, the, that's the reason why he, he rolled over. Elegance is a factor, six and 6.5 on the dive. Lots to learn here for the Polish diver in this event. Up next, Samuel Fricker of Australia. He's got a big one coming with a front four and a half rotations in the tuck position. 3.7 degree of difficulty. It's gonna be very important for him to grab that tuck position. And hold on to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit of the of height to really completely finish his opening but I mean he's really tall so for him to get into that tuck position and be able to really um, extend, ex his, extend body. his body um, it must be very hard going from a small tight position fast rotation to stopping completely seven seven point five it's good dive for the Australian here comes Zachary Cooper of the United States. With an inward three and a half somersaults tuck. He'll want, he'll want to bounce back after a difficult first round. Mm -hmm. 
good, good. And well I, done. Well done. It was very good. That's a very easy dive for the men, so it's very important for them to control that entry. So right here, he's grabbing his tuck position. He really did come out in a pike position close to his body to grab his hand and have a beautiful entry. Here come the scores now, eight, 7.5 as well. Good boost of confidence to keep going. Also from the United States of America, Brandon Lascavo. He'll be doing a back arm stand double somersault with two and a half twist. Big DD of difficult degree of difficulty here. 3.6. Good, good. I feel like his head was a little bit too much in, and that's the reason why he, it was hard for him to control that entry and get really that clean entry that we want. But you can see that here, he's really pushing out the platform. It has a tight twist position and to get to be able to control that entry. Six and a half all around for a total of 70.20 on the dive. Up next comes Matthew Lee of Great Britain with a back arm stand, triple somersault, tuck position. Once again, wants to hold that arm stand for about three seconds, show control for the judges. That's a miss for Matthew. Unfortunately, he came out way too early, and that's the reason why he landed on his short. Almost and on almost his back. Almost on his back, <laughs> yes. In so. an event of this level, this is considered a very big miss. It's gonna be hard to climb back. Four and a half for the Olympic champion in the synchronized diving event on 10 meter platform from Tokyo 2020. That is mad. He's him. capable of doing much better than that. From Ukraine, Alexei Sereda. Amazing young talent. He'll be doing a forward four and a half rotations in the top position. I thought he would have trouble to make that dive because once he's doing his takeoff, you want him to really jump high, but he went for the speed, but he knew exactly where he was after taking his tuck position right here. He did four flips and a half and landing on his hand perfectly. Spectacular diving, nine, nine and a half on the dive. Very good performance, 101.75 just for this dive alone. He sets the tone for Nathan Zombo Murray. He'll be doing the exact same dive. 3.7 degree of difficulty. He can also do this very well. Mm -hmm. Whoa! for Nathan to really being able to do that dive after the Ukrainian one, but he was very good. He, he remained calm and he knew exactly what to do to nail that dive. Ladies and gentlemen, it does not get much better than that. He is happy with this dive, giving himself the clap. Wow, 10, 10, nine and a half are being retained, 109. Point 15 points. Iwali, the coach, also extremely happy with this one. Wow. You were able to see even Timo Bartel give him a fist bump because <laughs> when, it, when it's good, it's good. Everybody appreciates mm -hmm. it.
All right, let's gain our composure back <laughs> now. The event continues. Castel Russo of Australia. He'll be doing a back arm stand, double somersault with two and a half twist. Good, pretty good. It's very hard for that duck to really push out the board and get into that twist very, very tight to be able to control that come out right here and get that entry. I felt like he grabbed his hand a little bit too soon, and that's the reason why he couldn't finish completely the dive. A very complex option for the Australian. Sevens on the dive. Not a dramatic miss here, but as you've seen, it's a very high level competition. Yang Hao of China. He will be doing a back arm stand triple somersault in the pike position. Extremely difficult dive, 3.5 degree of difficulty. It's gonna be very important for him to push out with his arm to make sure that his feet are passing the tower. Without touching it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finding a comfortable spot for his hands. Wow. wow! That was very good. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, it's very important for him to push out to make sure his feet are passing right now the tower. And then he, he has to keep his abdominal very tight to really make sure that he's landing on his head. One tiny degree short from the vertical. But that was an outstanding performance. Nine, nine and a half on the dive. Piling up those points after two rounds. Noah Williams of Great Britain now with an inward two and a half, inward three and a half somersault, sorry, in the tuck position. 3.2 degree of difficulty. Wow. Stepping up to the plate. Yes, and I love the fact that he's really tall and his finesse is really nice. He has a beautiful line. So look at that top position. His toes are really nice pointed. And when he grabs his tuck, coming out in a pike position, very tight for the entry and get that beautiful clean entry. There's the reward now. Nine, 9.5, 9.5. You are watching some extremely high-level diving here. Rikudo Tamai now. Can he keep up with the pace with a back three and a half pike position, 3.6 degree of difficulty. Very difficult dive. Very impressed because when you do that, that you really need that connection right here to grab the pike position. And then when you come out, you really need to hold on and stay tight to have that beautiful entry and hit the vertical. So much pressure applied on him from the previous divers and he answers back. Nine, nine, nine for a huge score of 97.20. Keeps his calm and it's paying off. Nathan Zomor Murray now in first place after two rounds. Yang Hao of China. Rikuda Tamai of Japan once again. This is some outstanding diving we are watching here in this event. Nathan Zomor Murray of Canada will have another look at that front four and a half tuck position. Right close to perfection. He's very proud of himself for that. Staying focused. Four more dives to go. We know he has the potential to be very competitive. Can he put six dives together? We're gonna find out. 
throughout the afternoon. Timo Bartel of Germany now for the third round. He's doing a forward three and a half somersault pike position. A little bit missing the quality of the entry. And when you do a dive that is smaller like that for men, you really need that entry to be very clean to get those scores high. Lower de degree of difficulty here, so it's a missed opportunity to go get a bit more points. Sevens here for 63 total on the dive. Robert Lukasiewicz coming up now for Poland. He'll be using a back three and a half somersault in the tuck position. The more the event goes on, the more difficult the dives are getting. Just missing a little bit at the entry. When you do that dive, the back three and a half in the duck position, you really need to know exactly where you are in the air. And now he's grabbing his duck position. He needs to see the water three times, and he, that, that will make him know exactly where he has to kick to get that vertical. The arms weren't lined up with the rest of his body. That created the splash. He is penalized for that. Samuel Fricker of Australia now. His next dive is a reverse three and a half somersault. Tuck position, 3.4 degree of difficulty. I didn't expect that at all because he's very tall, so he had to push out a little bit. And then his rotation was a little slower, but he knew exactly where he was by seeing the water. And he knew that he has to place his feet right up to get that entry. Not exactly at the same level of diving as the divers further down the line here, but still good performance. 7.5s on the reverse three and a half top. The same dive now for Zachary Cooper. Nice deep breath. Get the nerves off. Reverse three and a half somersaults, tuck position. He worked that well entry done. out. Well done. I feel like he was maybe missing some height and speed. That's the reason why he had to open very high. But unfortunately, he reached out with his uh, shoulders way too much backward. So that's the reason why he was uh, over. 69.70 is the score for the third round for the American. With the exact same dive, 3.4 degree of difficulty. Beautiful jump. Very and, nice. And that's what I was talking about when, when you do that dive, you, you do that dive, you really need to jump high to get that tuck position and be spin and knowing exactly where you are in the water. And right now he kicks and knew exactly where he was to get that beautiful entry. Lots of space to complete the dive. Good score as well, 81.60.
next now from Great Britain, Matthew Lee. An inward three and a half somersaults tuck to get back into this competition here. day so far yes yes and it's very unfortunate because he knows how to do his dive so what happened there he just had a beautiful tuck he had lots of time to really control that come out right now but unfortunately he kept his head down and that's the reason why he rolled over here's Jane the coach here she knows he can do better than that 6.5s will be disappointed with that Alexei Sereda of Ukraine having a great campaign so far. Will it continue with the back three and a half somersault in the tuck position? Only 17 years of age. Wow. Oh, beautiful. I was very surprised because he really cut his jump and he went right away in his stuck position right here. So sometimes that can create difficult to control that come out, but he knew exactly where he was, placed his feet at the perfect place to get that nice entry. Lots of abdominal work here to keep those legs up at, at the end. 8.5s on the dive. Another good score for the Ukrainian. Here it comes. Oh, there's a positive reaction from the coach. Right before Nathan Zombermurray gets ready for his third round dive. The leader of this event currently. A back three and a half somersault in the tuck position. Junior Team Canada going crazy, the crowd as well. Yes, and it's, I understand why. Look at that dive, that entry. And Alex, as you mentioned it, if you can't see a splash there in <laughs> real life, it's even better. We can feel the energy transcending all the way up here from the booth. He knows he did another good dive. In full confidence so far. Nine, nine, nine point five. Very good dive. Absolutely amazing. Taking a deep breath, moving on to the next dive right away. From Australia now, Cassio Rousseau. He'll be doing a reverse three and a half tuck position, 3.4 degree of difficulty. Jumped a little bit too much far out. And that's the reason why when you jump far and you have to go reverse, that creates a momentum that it's pushing you down. And you have to make sure that you place your feet at the right place to really get the vertical. And unfortunately, he, he placed his feet a little bit too low. And that's why he was uh, short. 7.5 and 8. No big damage here, but the level is so high, those scores won't be enough to be competitive. Not for a medal just yet. Here's the bronze medalist from the World Championships last year in Budapest. Yang Hao of China. With a reverse three and a half somersault tuck position. Can he get back in the lead with this one here? Wow. Oh my God. That will for sure put a lot of pressure. <laughs> that was just beautiful. Look at that high and nice, beautiful top position. And he knew exactly where to place his feet to get that nice entry right there. I'm sure you can hear it through our microphones. The scores are coming up. Yang Hao of China not showing much emotion, although he should. A perfect. 
perfect dive, ladies and gentlemen. 102 points, tens all around. Wow, wow. All right, let's keep going here. Noah Williams of Great Britain with a back three and a half somersault pike position. The pressure is on. That's a very big dive and will be very important to be, stay tight with his abdominal. Um, so, so unfortunate, so unfortunate. That was his chance to really do a great dive, but like as I mentioned, was very important to stay tight and he missed that connection with his abdominal. And unfortunately, it's almost like you knew what was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I know that it's important. 6.5s. Unfortunately, that's going to set him back in this event. One more dive to go in this last round. Rikudo Tamai of Japan with a forward four and a half somersaults tuck position. This is so unfortunate, very big miss, big, big, big miss. And you know what? He had the space to really nail that dive. But when you have major space like, like that, you really need to take your time. And be aware of what's going on, the mm -hmm. speed, the height. Mm -hmm. Really need to look at the water to really place your arms at this right place. 4.5s on the dive. It's a big miss. Keeps a smile, stays positive. Three more rounds to go for him. Wow, this diving is so spectacular. Yang Hao gains the lead once again. Nathan Zombo Marine second. Alexei Serena now in the top three spots. We're gonna have a look at some of those dives that just happened in this round. I mean, I did call this the marquee event. Here's your second place diver for right now. The crowd is getting an incredible show. And I think historically, this event is always such a spectacle for people to watch. Mm -hmm. Always. Whether they're young divers, everybody knows this is where we see the big scores, the perfect tens. Nathan Zomber Murray here. Beautiful back three and a half tuck. He is in the race for the podium with the best in the world right now. And that was just a perfect dive, which we just saw. In the world of diving, the men's 10-meter platform is the hardest event. All right, round four begins now with Timo Bartel of Germany. He'll be doing a back three and a half somersault in the tuck position. Really hard to stay in the action with what's going on right here today in Montreal. Beautiful, beautiful. No big mistakes here. Mm -hmm. No wow factor, no mis big mistakes. I feel like he could have worked a little bit more with his hands, but he knew exactly where he was, looking at the water three times, and placing his hands just a tiny, tiny too much in front. And that's what caused the splash at the end. 7.5s for the dive. He knows there was a little bit missing here. Robert Lukasiewicz from Poland. Following up with a back arm stand, triple somersault in the tuck position. 3.3 degree of difficulty. Nice pointed feet. Good and 
entry. Good entry. Well done. And yeah, I felt like he pushed a little bit too much far out. And that can create a, a harder control of the come out right here. But he knew exactly where he was by seeing the water and then placing his feet at the right place. When you mentioned seeing the water, obviously the divers are aware of the rotation, keeping their eyes open, knowing exactly where the bottom of the pool is. 77.55 on the dive for the Polish athlete. Samuel Fricker now of Australia. He'll be doing a back three and a half somersaults in the tuck position. Fragile ankle, all taped up to make sure everything stays and holds on together. Once again, he had, he had the space to really kick and stay very tight with his abdominal. I felt like there wasn't enough speed in the rotation for him here. Yeah, and maybe that's the reason why he react to it. But if he would have stayed really tight with his abdominal, could have been a better entry. And then the legs would have followed the body towards the vertical. That's a miss for Samuel Fricker, 5.5 and 6. Fist pump, keep up the energy. Here comes Zachary Cooper now of the United States of America. His next dive will be a forward four and a half rotations in the tuck position. There's the whistle. And the judges are ready to go. When you do that dive, you really want to have your arms up as soon as you leave, leave the tower right there. And then it makes it easier for you to grab your tuck position, which is really important. And then you can come out and have the, the space to really get that entry. And the challenge here is to hold on to that tuck position even though you're spinning very, very fast. You can't just have your body stay away from the tuck position. 86.95, very good score for Zachary Cooper. Brandon Laschiavo now, also from the USA. Back three and a half somersault, pike position. For having done this dive before, physically this one is very demanding. Good. He makes it look very easy. <laughs> yes. I feel like he went a little bit too much back, and that you will see right here. So that's hard after for him to connect with his pipe position. It takes too much time, but it's a, it's a very easy dive for him, and that's the reason why he was able to manage to make it. No big mistakes here. Sevens on the dive. But again, at this level, those scores are a bit low. You want to hope for a top spot. Matthew Lee of Great Britain also doing a back three and a half somersault in the pike position. Oh. Something weird happened at the takeoff. Are you for some reason, I felt like it was hard for him to grab his pipe position right here. And you can see like he was struggling with his arms to grab that pipe. We were able to see it right there. And unfortunately, when you do that up, you really need to have that connection from the takeoff. Lacking some speed here, a total of 43.20. Matthew Lee just having an off day. From the Ukraine now, Alexei Sereda, reverse three and a half somersaults, tuck position. Currently in third after three dives. Oh. 
and I've seen him doing a beautiful dive on that dive. Unfortunately, he brushed too much to grab his tuck position, and he placed his feet way too high, and that's the reason why he he went on over. over. Once you come out of that rotation too late, there's no turning back. Disappointment from the coach here. Mm -hmm. Five and a halfs on the dive. He's got two more rounds to stay in the hunt for a podium spot. Nathan Zombo Murray in great position so far. A back arm stand double somersault with one and a half twist. Smaller dive, but he will need to control. I love his composure. He always seems very relaxed. Doesn't seem very nervous. Finds the control here. Ah, little splash at the end of the of the engine. No, it's not a big mistake, but when you do a smaller dive like like that, you really need to get that wow factor with a clean entry. His arms weren't lined up perfectly with the rest of his body. That's what created the splash. And I feel like he, he struggled a little bit to, to control that handstand. So maybe that was a little bit hard mentally. That stays in your head for the rest of the dive. 7.5s on this one. Considered a tiny little miss for him here. But not much damage. Cassel Rousseau now from Australia with a back three and a half somersault in the pipe position, 3.6 degree of difficulty. Oh, okay, yes. Lots of work at the <laughs> end of the dive here. Lots of work, and I feel like he, he got it. He really understands that he has to grab his pike position very fast to get that speed going on. But unfortunately, he should have had a better connection with his abdominal to not have that big splash at the end that we see. Stay tight so you can have a clean entry. To get that rip entry, you really have to have every muscle in your body tight, 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 so it doesn't create a splash. Yang Hao of China. We'll be doing the same dive. Back three and a half somersault, pike position. He is in the lead right now. Can he maintain it? with you I got a little bit shaky at the uh, beginning because I felt I could have jumped a little bit higher but then he know he knew exactly where we were in the air placing his feet at the right place right here to get that entry perfect pike position straight legs pointed feet full of confidence and the scores speak for themselves. 9.5s, a couple of 10s are taken out here. Another dive above 100 points for Yao Hang of China. All right, Noah Williams now of Great Britain with a back arm stand, double somersault, two and a half twist. He was a silver medalist at the European Championships in 2022. Can he come back into this event? Beautiful. He's not giving up. He's not giving up. He wants to come back. He's fighting for that podium. When you do that dive, you really need to be tight in your twist to be able to control that entry right here. Little bit of a splash. Scores are good, eights. Some 8.5s are taken out. 86.40, great total for the dive. One more diver to go in this round, Rikudo Tamai. It's an opportunity for him. 
to get back into the hunt for a medal here in Montreal. Back arm stand, double somersault, two and a half twists, the exact same dive we just saw. Playing with the toes. You don't want your feet to cramp up there. Ah, you really need to stay tight with those shoulders because you don't want them to move when you hit the water. Right here, beautiful twist position, but unfortunately, his shoulder move a little bit backwards and that creates a, a big bubble at the end. His body wasn't really tight enough as well getting into the water. Good score though, 81 points. The big degree of difficulty helps a lot here. Has to shake that off and finish strong on the last two rounds. Here are the standings after four rounds. Yang Hao in full control here. Already 40 points ahead of Nathan Zombo Murray of Canada. No Williams in third. Just a few points off, though, to get to that podium. Here is your leader. Right after his dive, staying very, very focused, which is why he's able to have such a high level of diving. World Aquatics World Cup, second leg of the World Cup season. And we are witnessing the highest and most difficult dives in the world right now being done in such a beautiful way. Very composed, nothing can phase him. It's important to know how to step out of the zone and knowing when exactly to come back because it can be very tiring otherwise. Mentally, that Mentally, is. Mentally, yes. Round number five, Timo Bartel. Very uncommon dive for the platform a reverse one and a half with three and a half twists as you mentioned very uncommon he's the only one doing that dive <laughs> so it's very rare to see and i feel like it it demands a lot of control especially if you take you want to take out and push yourself a little bit further to make sure you don't you're safe and then after you have to control that twist and unfortunately, he passed the vertical. High degree of difficulty of 3.4, 66.30 on the dive. Tiny little details that make a difference in the end. Robert Lukasiewicz of Poland. His fifth round dive is a back two and a half, one and a half twist in the pike position. <laughs> just a tiny short and it's very unfortunate because when you do a, a dive like that you really need that clean entry to get the wall factor so when you do that you grab your pipe you need to stay really tight and especially when you go into that twist you grab that pipe you need that speed to get that have that beautiful entry and this is not a hard dive to make for for the men so i felt like this one was lacking it wasn't dynamic enough for me it needed to be more Effective right from the top. From Australia, Samuel Fricker now. Back arm stand double somersault. One and a half twist. 3.2 degree of difficulty. Good save. Good save. Beautiful entry. He rushed a little bit too much to go into that twist very fast right here. So that creates a little difficult to control that entry. The judges really want to see an actual jump from your hands up yes. top. So he went straight down. We'll see how they're going to judge this time. 
seven, 7.5. Even though he had a nice entry at the bottom, there was something missing for the judges. No big mistake for the Australian, though. Up next from the United States of America, Zachary Cooper. He follows up with a back three and a half somersault tuck position. He's really managed to get back into the competition here. Lining up a couple of good dives. He's got to keep this going. Pretty good work. Well done. Well done. I mean, I feel like his jump was very good. He jumped really high to get that tuck position. Could have been a little bit tighter, and he knew exactly where he was to place his feet right here and know to go get that vertical. Rounding up some sevens here for 69.30. And the higher the level of diving is in the rest of the event, the harder it is for the judges to compare mm -hmm. and get some high scores for some yes. other good dives like this one. Mm -hmm. Brandon Laschiavo now. Forward, four and a half somersaults, tuck position. 3.7. Ah, oh, just missing a little bit with his hand. He had plenty of space to complete this dive. Yes, and he knows because we, they know when they're missing. They know that. The as soon as they get in the water. Exactly. So he had a beautiful tuck position. He came out, had plenty of space, but unfortunately, he didn't grab his hand the proper way to really get that entry. 6.5s. Missed opportunity here. Kept that head in. We can feel every movement mm -hmm. throughout the dive. Matthew Lee, Olympic champion in this synchronized event from Tokyo 2020, with the great Tom Daly. He'll be doing a reverse three and a half somersaults tuck position. Beautiful. I mean, I really love how he went. He jumps super high before grabbing his tuck position. So that creates a pretty great speed. And then he places his feet at the right place. That's a little more like himself. Mm -hmm. Eight, eight point five for this one. Keeping that motivation going all the way to the end of the event. Here's a chance for Alexei Sereda now to get back after a missed dive. Back arm stand, double somersault with two and a half twist. Really beautiful line here, legs and feet. Ah. It's very unfortunate he had it, but unfortunately kept his head too much in. Right here, you're supposed to look at the water to know exactly when you're gonna hit the water. It's gonna be very important for, me, for him to put those two dives behind and come back for a last good dive. Regain his focus, forget about these two misses. Six on the dive for the young Ukrainian. Gaining some experience here at this level. Nathan Zambor Murray now with a reverse three and a half somersault tuck position. Big dive for Nathan. Currently in second. Can he hold on to a podium spot? Okay, so you know when you have, it's, it's a big dive and every diver has one dive that it's a little bit harder for them and that dive is the one for Nathan. And I feel like he had it, but he only had to put his hands a little bit more back to get that entry. It's like he second guessed the lining of his arms. Tiny mistake here for Nathan, 6.5s 
for a total of 66.30. And he's telling his coach right now, Iwali, he missed his hands completely, so there's no way to have a good entry when that happens. All right, he's got to forget about this one. Castel Rousseau of Australia, back two and a half, two and a half twist. Has a lot of big degree of difficulties in his list of dives. And this is another one with 3.6. It, he's really has his style. Yeah. So that, that makes him create his own style, and I love it. You see that his twist position is very tight. He's grabbing his pike. You know exactly where he is, and he has a beautiful entry. Very energetic as well in this dive. And the scorers will show it as well. Total of 86.40 with one more dive to go for the Australian. Yang Hao of China now with a forward four and a half somersault tuck position. Always a very challenging dive here. Making sure he's in the right spot to get to the end of that tower at the end of the approach. No. Oh my God! Wow! So spectacular! Wow, Alex, I'll let you comment on that <laughs> because for me it was flawless. Wow! Oh my God! <laughs> and you know what? Once again, for having done this dive before, he managed to jump straight up in the air here. That gives him the chance to be in full control. He knew exactly where he was. The direction of the dive is really from up to down. And another perfect dive in the same event for a total of 111 points, straight tens. You guys are very, very lucky to witness this in oh, the yes. same event from the same diver. Mm -hmm. Wow. Noah Williams now for Great Britain. The pressure is definitely on. And I think his body language says it all as well. He'll be doing a reverse three and a half somersault tuck position. Ah, second guess. And you, we were able to see it when he came out of that tuck position. His speed went a little bit loose. And you will be able to see it right here now. That, and that's the reason why he passed the vertical. And let me just tell you, it is very, very, something very difficult to stay focused after a perfect dive. Noah Williams right here, he's a fan of diving as well. Mm -hmm. And having such an incredible accomplishment happen just before you can be very difficult psychologically. And sometimes you ask yourself, how, how can I do it like that too? But Trying to step up, mm -hmm. trying to keep up actually. Mm -hmm. And same thing now for the young Japanese, Rikudo Tamai with a reverse three and a half somersault, top position. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Look how tight that top position was. It was very nice, right here, beautiful duck position. He knew exactly where it was. Look at the water, three times, place his feet, and he knew exactly where to put his hands to really reach out for that water and to get that ent entry really clean. And he is back into this competition, 9.5s, feeling much more like himself. Mm -hmm. That was very nice. Yang Hao already broken the 500-point barrier. <laughs> Nathan Zumbor Murray having a good performance as well. Rikudo Tamai trailing him not too far behind. What a show is being put on here today. Yang Hao with the master class, multiple 100-point dives. And we're gonna see two perfect dives right now. 
I can't believe this is happening in the same event. <laughs> Reverse three and a half somersault. Straight tens from all the judges. And just now a front four and a half somersault also for straight tens. Simply amazing. And you know, for the judges to give 10, it means like they didn't see anything wrong. I was told by a judge before, the only way to give a 10 is if they don't hesitate for one second. Mm -hmm. It has to be the only decision they can make. Nathan Zombo Mary just now is still staying focused. One more dive to go. And Timo Bartel of Germany finishes off the day with a reverse three and a half somersault tuck position. Ah, that's very Everything was there for exactly. him to succeed. Yes, but you can't second guess. When you grab your tuck position, you know how to, when you come out, you have to come out, come out at the right place to get that entry. And unfortunately, Timo really passed the vertical. Good effort in such a tough field. Unfortunately, not the ending he wanted. 5.5s on the last dive. See disappointment here with the coach. Robert Lukasiewicz of Poland. Finishing off with a 2.8 reverse, two and a half somersaults, tuck position. It's going to be very important to control that type. You were exactly right, Jen. <laughs> It's, it's so simple that dive. So when you're, you, you know, you're not, you jump high, you spin fast, you really have to control it and you can't kick that high, otherwise you will pass a vertical. And I can definitely assume that he is working on adding a flip to mm -hmm. this dive for more degree of difficulty. This is way too easy for him to perform. Gaining some experience, diving with the best in the world. From Australia now, Samuel Fricker. And his last dive will be an inward three and a half somersaults tuck position. his time being very focused good beautiful dive very good very good and i feel like when you finish with a easy dive for him you really need to take your time to make sure you get that nice entry and finish strong and he did exactly that in such a tough competition all smiles eight eight and eight to finish the campaign. The event is not over for this man right here. Nathan's on board, Mary. One more to go. Can he hold on to the second position? What a day he's having so far. On we go with Zachary Cooper of the United States of America. Back two and a half, two and a half twist. Pike position. Just missing a little bit of height. So when you do that dive, you really need to jump high before it getting into that twist position. Really have to be more explosive right here mm -hmm. and get that rotation going because 10 meters comes very fast at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And also when you hit that water, you really need to have your elbow super, super locked to make sure that you can still have that, that entry. He's got his work cut out for him to go back home try and hope to be at the same level as this man right here, Yang Hao of China. And at the end, that's the main goal, right? You want to beat the best. Brandon Laschiavo of the United States of America. He follows with the same dive as his teammate for a 3.6 degree of difficulty.
Beautiful. He had plenty of time to really finish the dive. He really jumped super high, and that's what we were saying. When you do that dive right there, you want to jump high, get that twist position to really spin fast for that pike right here, and have plenty of time to really grab your hand and get that entry. 79.20 to finish off the event. Very steady performance for the American. From Great Britain, Matthew Lee. He ends the competition with a forward four and a half somersault, top position, 3.7 degree of difficulty. He knows how to finish with that dive because he did it at the Olympic Games when he won that gold medal. In the synchronized mm -hmm. event with Tom Daly. And you see that he was very, very straight, but unfortunately was missing a little bit of quality at the entry. I feel like he had some trouble grabbing his hands at the end. We'll see it right here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe on that angle, like it's, you can see that he didn't really completely lock his elbow to really have that clean, clean entry, no splash at all. I'm sure that feels good though, finishing off the day with 88.80. .80. There's Jane, the coach. She's happy with the way he finished his day of work. 17-year-old Alexei Sereda of Ukraine. He'll be doing a back two and a half, two and a half twist. So much potential for this young diver. Pressure for sure. That was amazing. Look how fast he went into that twist. Very fast to grab his pike, and he knew how to really lock his elbow to get that fantastic entry. And I love his style of diving. Such pretty lines, mm -hmm. a lot of elegance. And he is rewarded for that. Big smiles, 97.20. And the coach is very happy as well. Wow. And that sets the tone for this young man right here, Nathan Zalmore Murray. Canadian fans going wild. One more dive to go. Can he hold on to his second spot on the podium? He will be doing a back two and a half, one and a half twist. Canadian coaching staff very excited for this one. A smaller dive for Nathan. So he will really need to work on that entry. Yay! Oh, yes. Amazing. And that's what I was saying. You know, when you do smaller dive and you see that you're, you're your, the other divers are doing big ones. You really need to work on that entry to get that wall factor. After having the pressure put on him just before, he stands up. Beautiful. Look at that clean entry. And it was even cleaner in, in real life. <laughs> he salutes the crowd. They've been there for him all day long. for Nathan Zomber Murray. Definitely a, a diver that we need to look up. The Olympics coming up next year in Paris with performances like this one that sets him up to be a contender. From Australia now, Cass Cassiel Rousseau. His last dive will be a forward four and a half tuck position. Oh, 
Beautiful. It's very, like I said, mentioned a little bit earlier, he has his own style, and that's what I really love. You see, like he's grabbing his stock position, and he's not completely straight for, for um, when he come out of this position, but he know where to place his hand to get that entry. A really great showing from the Australian. He'll also be someone to watch for all of next year. Lots of love to give here. <laughs> Big scores, 99.90 on his last dive. Here's Nathan, currently the leader on this event. Nothing is over until it's over. But here it comes. Yang Hao, who is currently three points behind Nathan in this event. So I expect a big showing from him here with a back two and a half, two and a half twist, pike position. He's been having just a stunning day so far. No, oh, oh, and, and that's a miss. miss. And that's a miss for him. And I felt like he was missing maybe a little bit of connection right here. He rushed for that twist, and that's the reason why when he grabbed his pike position, he was missing some rotation to really finish that dive. It's almost like he wasn't dynamic enough mm -hmm. on the very last dive after putting on such a show before, but he had created such an advance Four, seven and one half, that it's seven, plenty, seven, plenty seven, of seven, points to get him the first place. And he knows he missed that last yes. dive. And you know, I feel like sometimes when you, you're far in front of the, your, your competitor, you, you, it's your last dive and you get a little bit out of the zone. Can't get too confident at yes. the end. All right, Noah Williams. He'll be wanting to finish strong here with a forward four and a half somersaults, 3.7 degree of difficulty in the tuck position. Oh, and you know what, Alex? I feel like he had so much momentum when he was walking through the end of the tower right here that it makes him very hard for him. It makes it very hard for him to control that come out. And unfortunately, he came out too late and he passed the vertical. He would have had plenty of space to complete this dive in a better way. Unfortunately, an off day at the office for the British diver. One more dive to go now, and it belongs to Rikudo Tamai of Japan. While the top three divers right now are awaiting their fate, can this man change things around here? Back two and a half, somersault, two and a half twist in the pike position. on the judges because you know when when he, he did that dive he really jumped high and he waited before grabbing his twist position and that creates a lot of space for him to grab his hand at the end to get that in entry he makes it look so effortless although there is so much happening in this dive solid is it gonna be worth it for, here is it gonna be enough He's waiting for a score. Oh, and he gets just past Nathan Zumbo Murray with a total score of 513 points, point 45. He never gave up. <laughs> and you can see the emotion here for Nathan still on the podium. He's very <laughs> happy. And he will definitely be one to follow in the next years yes. to come would put a lot of pressure for that podium for sure. Absolutely. Big things coming his way in the future. I am sure of it. The hard work pays off. The team is happy. What a performance from Nathan Zombo Murray as well. He knows now he can compete with the best in the world. That was a great
great opportunity for him to compete against the greatest in the world, and he just that he, hey, he just took that opportunity. And also to know that there's still some space for improvement on his diving. Great days, Ethan is definitely one to watch to be in that top three. What a performance from the top five divers in this event. We'll get the final rankings coming up shortly. And here it is, Yang Hao with a massive 580 points. 513.45 for Riku Totamai. And also breaking that 500 point barrier with 507 is Nathan Zombor Murray. And very unusual in diving, fourth and fifth place are tied at 488.80 points. Very unusual, and that means that they both did the same dive for the <laughs> same score six times. Jennifer Abel, it's been a true pleasure working with you throughout this event, and much more diving to come with you. It was a pleasure. Looking forward to it. See you next time, everyone. Have a great night.
Montreal, please welcome the medal ceremony for the men's 10-meter championship event. Montréal, veuillez accueillir la cérémonie des médailles pour l'épreuve finale des hommes à la plateforme de 10 mètres. Medals and gifts will be presented by. Les médailles et cadeaux seront remis par. Sales, meetings and convention coordinator, Tourism Montreal. Coordinateur des ventes, réunions et congrès chez Tourisme Montréal, Gabriel Lamy Beaupré. Winner of the bronze medal. Gagnant de la médaille de bronze. Representing Canada. Représentant le Canada. Nathan Zambar Murray. The winner of the silver medal. Gagnant de la médaille d'argent. Representing Japan. Représentant le Japon. Rikuto Tamai. Winner of the gold medal and World Aquatics Diving World Cup champion. Gagnant de la médaille d'or et champion de la Coupe du Monde World Aquatics de plongeon. Representing People's Republic of China. Représentant la République populaire de Chine. Yang Ha. Athletes, the podium is yours. Diving fans, please rise if you are able and join us for the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. Amateurs de plongeon, veuillez vous lever si vous le pouvez pour l'hymne national de la République populaire de Chine. Some noise for your World Cup medalists. Montréal, faites du bruit pour vos médaillés de cette Coupe du Monde de plongeon.
Standing by with World Cup gold medalist Yang Hao and his translator. I'll tell you, Team China was not going to be denied perfection with this gentleman. Ask him to take us back to the platform before dive in round three. Canadian Nathan Chambord Murray executes the dive of his life and then he comes up. What's going through his mind before his dive in round three? Uh,我觉得他跳得特别棒嘛,然后因为比赛的话,我就跟着他后面两位,然后也没有特别注意他,可能听到现场的气氛都很,就比较比较高涨了,然后就觉得也为他高兴嘛。um, he thinks uh, the Canadian diver style is exceptional, amazing, and uh, she's also amazed by it. And uh, when, but she, he most focus on his own dives. And when he heard the cheerings of the audience, uh, he's warmed up, he's warmed by the atmosphere. Amazing display. Now, he adds this title to two youth Olympic gold medals. He's already a three-time world champion. How does this gold, uh, this uh, World Cup gold medal feel to him? He's happy and proud of it, and he hopes he can get better uh, better uh, performance in the future. Well, he deserves to be happy and proud. Congratulations, young man. Enjoy and celebrate. There you go, your gold medalists at the uh, men's 10-meter platform.